exit 137, on right, to I-71, then keep left. Morning, Mandy. Good morning to all of you. We are in Louisville, Kentucky. I think. And we are headed over to Lexington, where our first drop will be today. If we can make it through this mess. In 1.2 kilometers, take exit 137, on right, to I-71, then keep left. Yes, that means I gotta be in the right lane then, huh? Okay. Oh, look at this fancy bridge. Woo. Oh, so now we're entering Kentucky. Okay. Birthplace of Abraham Lincoln. You know, there's like four different states that claim some like connection to Abraham Lincoln. Everybody wants a piece of Abe. <laughs> what is it like? Illinois is like. Take exit uh, 137. On oh, right quiet. to I 71. Then keep left. Illinois claims some connection to him. Kentucky does. Who else does? There's a couple other states that on their signs they say, Hey, Abe was here. Look at that beautiful bridge. Wow, nicely painted. No rust. Very nice. Very nice. So as we go around this corner, you're going to see downtown right in front of us. Oh, wait, maybe not. No. No, never mind. <laughs> Downtown's off to the right there. Keep I thought left we were going to I-71. Oh, we're going left. Around this away. Oh, careful around the corner. Don't spill your smoothie, Trucker Josh. All right, get out of the way. Why do birds do that? They always fly right in front of me. In 800 meters, take ramp on right to I-64 East. Oh boy, Diesel. Well, we've arrived at our destination. We're here in Lexington, Kentucky. I need a nap. I think I'm gonna take a nap. I'm waiting for the receiver to get here. I called in about uh, what, two hours in advance just to remind him, hey, I'm still on schedule. Everything's going good, I'll be there on time. They're like, all right, cool, we'll meet you there. I get here, no one here, of course. <laughs> I give him a call again. Hey, uh, letting you know I'm here. Oh, okay, yeah, no problem, I'll be right there. Still no one here. Which is fine, because I'm kind of tired, so I'm just going to take a nap. And I'm assuming once he gets here, he's just going to come knock on his door. Or I'll knock on my door and say, hey, I'm here now. I'll be like, all right, let's get this done. It looks like everything for this delivery is on pallets. I got five deliveries, and the, the product I'm delivering, I can't share with you because uh, I signed a contract with a company I work for saying I won't reveal contracts, right? Most people, most employers will make you sign that when you start trucking. They'll say, hey, don't tell anybody our secrets or you're in trouble. So I can't tell you any secrets. Not purposefully, anyways. I try not to let things slip, but that's what editing is for. Anyways, okay, so the product I'm delivering is all on the floor, right? And you have to hand bomb it. It's probably about 500 pieces. And looks like this delivery is 91 of that 500 pieces. Which makes sense because it's five deliveries, right? And it's on pallets. Five pallets. So that's nice. That's nicer than put it on pallets. Why don't they always put it on pallets? That'll make it a lot easier. All right, so we're off to our next delivery. Next delivery. Why are these people going so slow? We shall go around them. That's what we do. We gotta hurry up and wait. No time for going slow. We're on uh, I-64 uh, East. Okay. Something like that. We're over here anyway. And we're going that way. We're going to Huntington, West Virginia. West Virginia's got a lot of hills, so it'll be real scenic. We've got one more drop today. It's a bit of a, no, it's an average one. I thought it was the bigger one. No, the bigger one's tomorrow afternoon. We got an average one this morning. We got an average one tomorrow morning. We got a big honking one tomorrow afternoon. And then we got an itty bitty little baby one on Thursday morning. 
So this trip is actually gonna take less time than last trip. Remember last time we had nine drops? This time we only got five, so that makes it a lot easier. Hey, bluegrass station. I love bluegrass, but you know what? I'm gonna listen to some bluegrass music right now. Let's let's listen to bluegrass music. Virginia yet? Very close to West Virginia if we're not in West Virginia already. I missed the sign, I guess. Beautiful scenery out here. Nice and green, rolling hills. Lucky people that get to live out here. Oh, it's getting a little long again, isn't it? I have to cut her off soon. I forgot my shaver at home. I need a new shaver anyways. Maybe I'll just get a new shaver. Maybe I'll just wait till I'm home. I don't know. Don't really matter. Not making such a big deal out of it this time. But I don't want my beard to get that long again. That was... That was fun. I'll probably do it again in my life sometime, but not right away. Next time, I gotta grow it even longer, though. from our second delivery, second out of five. And it's the last one for today. After this one, we drive to our next one, or nearby our next one, and then we stay there for the night, right? And then we'll unload first thing in the morning. I did that on purpose. I gave myself some more time between deliveries on this load. Because remember last week, was it last week, last time I came down here? The first delivery took forever to unload me, and then I had to call eight people after that, telling them that, hey, your load's late because of one person. You know, Shay was talking about that in his video yesterday, probably all week ago for you, uh, from the Shay Tarts. I, I watch their vlogs every day. And uh, he was saying that it's amazing how one little thing that you do can affect thousands of people or just many, many people all around you. Like, uh... For those of you that watch him, you, you remember, he was in traffic in LA, and in the opposite direction, one person had a fender bender, and it brought the freeways of LA to a complete standstill. Thousands of people stuck on the highway doing absolutely nothing. All of them got somewhere to be. Like, if you're in the car going somewhere, you got somewhere to be. That's why you're in the car, because you're going somewhere. All of their plans are now late. Maybe they have appointments, maybe they have job interviews that they're going to miss. Maybe their relationship is on the rocks and their partner or wife or husband said, you know, if you're late one more time, we're done. And now he's stuck in traffic and he's going to be late. <laughs> well, he had a, good, a lot of good lessons in his video, that one. So, I just thought of that when I, uh, how one person's lackadaisicalness working on my big words one person's laziness or tardiness can affect a huge amount of people so those of you who think that nothing you do matters it does because we are in constant relationship with everyone around us even if we don't know them driving down the highway I'm assuming that everyone out here knows what they're doing, that they're sober, and they know where they're going. One person comes out here drunk, has an accident, changes everybody's lives. Even if it's just meaning that you're making me late for my appointment, you've changed my life. Maybe it means someone died in that accident. You've definitely changed their life. And then it spreads out even further because there's people that probably love that person. Now all of their lives are changed. Maybe that person had a family. That child's gonna grow up, have children of its own. Its own, have children of his or her own. And those children won't have a grandma or grandpa because of the accident that the drunk driver caused. You see how it just goes down the line? Everything you do affects everyone around you. Funny that that came to my mind as I'm driving down the highway. It's... But, yeah. Everything you do matters. Even 
if it doesn't seem like it. So this is Huntington, West Virginia. Huntington. It's a pretty big town in here. Big city even. Mandy led me astray, so we're now trusting Google Maps. I missed my turn. I missed where I was supposed to go, so Mandy got benched. Now we're using my Google Maps on my Android phone. And I called the customer. <laughs> but right downtown, it's so hard to find where we're supposed to go down here, you know what I mean? Very nice town, nonetheless. Green means go! Okay, I gotta turn left here. Another red light. Why don't you just love red lights? Alright, so we're unloaded. We're done for the day. We just gotta drive another about six hours. So we're at our next customer for tomorrow morning. These loads are always a little bit of physical effort because I gotta, as part of my job, my contract to hand bomb the product that I have in the trailer off to the, Into they call it tailgating. 50 meters. Turn right on 20th Street. They call it tailgating. I'm responsible to tailgate the product. Pretty much just drag the product to the back of the trailer where they take it off from there. So it's not so bad. Some people don't like that, but I take that as an opportunity to uh, get a little workout in, work up a little sweat, get the heart ticking. Turn right on 20th Street. No, Mandy, no. They explained to me how to get out of town. You're leading me down dark paths. That's not very nice. They warned me that my GPS would uh, lead me wrong, so they told me how to get out of town. Gotta follow the 60 saying. I'm waiting for Mandy to realize that, that that's what I'm going to do. Anytime now. Anytime, Mandy. Come on. Oh, she still hasn't figured it out. Continue 1.9 kilometers, then turn right on 31st Street. There you go. 31st Street, Route 60, same thing. Good girl, Mandy. Finally figured out the right way to get out of town. I believe this is. Kilometers. Thanks, man. Right How many times does she start talking right after I start talking? This is Charleston, right? Yes, Charleston. I think. Sorry, buddy, I gotta keep right. Andy told me to keep right. Keep it right. Just obeying orders. Oh yeah, we go through here a lot. I've been through here like four times in the last couple of months. You want to stay on the I-64, yeah, this one. I always film going through here too. <laughs> For some reason, something about this city, I really like it. So, I don't know much about this city. Keep right on to I-64 East. Other than I gotta keep right on to I-64 East. But you're gonna have to gun it. Gas pedal, that's the wrong pedal. Why did you hit your brakes? I left you a big open space there in front of me. Gas pedal, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. the accelerator pedal for a reason. It's to be used on the on-ramp. Along with proper intelligence. Some people lack both. But hey, whatever. Still gotta love them, right? Not 97 kilometers on I-64 East. Whatever, Mandy. Whatever. It's so easy, too. Like, all you gotta do is just put your foot on the floor. There you go, you're into traffic, but no, you'd rather stop and mess everything up for everybody behind you on the on-ramp and on the freeway. Because if you think about it, if I hit the brakes to let him in front of me, 
I am disrupting the flow of traffic, and that is illegal. It is illegal to disrupt traffic. So I cannot mess up my speed to let you in. You're supposed to get up to speed on the on-ramp. That's what the on-ramp is for. A lot of people don't realize that. They think the on-ramp is for meandering. Nay, nay. The on-ramp is where you test out the horses in your car or in your truck. You say you got 200 horses? Show me on that on-ramp right there. Show me what you got. You don't got enough horses to get on the freeway? Maybe you should stay off the freeway. <laughs> I know. What? I'm a horse sometimes. So I think that city hall there on the right, here's the stadium, not the stadium, back there, it's got like a golden roof. I've talked about it many times before. Yeah, Charleston Stadium. Very nice, very nice, Charleston. Okay, yeah, on the right there, you see that? There's like City Hall. They got a gold-plated roof. I wonder if that's real gold? I doubt it for some reason. Probably gold-plated, maybe painted gold. Right lane must exit. I don't want to exit, though. Manny, why didn't you tell me to stay out of this lane? Very nice, Charleston, very nice. Look at these people. I'm trying to merge in, good thing I'm in this lane me or slowing down on the on-ramp again. It just drives me absolutely up the wall. Like, what do you think the on-ramp is for? You're supposed to hit highway speed. I can understand if like a tractor trailer can't get up to highway speed by the end of the ramp. I understand. I will make room and accommodate you. A little four-wheeler? You're telling me you can't get that little four-wheeler up to highway speed on a half-mile on-ramp. Even a quarter-mile on-ramp. Really? You need to buy a bigger car. You only got half a motor in that car. You need a bigger one. That's the way I see it. Anyways, can you see it on there? I, I don't want to get too close to him. I know this camera can't zoom in very well, but he's got that trailer fin on the back of his trailer, right? And it's for fuel economy, like I was telling you. How hard is that to put that in and out? And you know what must happen? Because you can't see it in your mirrors, right? It's behind the trailer. How many of these guys forget that that trailer fin is behind them when they're backing into a spot at the truck stop at the end of the day. <laughs> I would crush that all the time. When you're backing up against someone else's trailer, oh yeah, I'd be the first one to crush it. it looks kind of difficult to set up. That'd be annoying. I, I wouldn't mind having automatic ones that came out as you uh, sped up. Like the faster you go, the further they'll pop out, you know what I mean? Oh, he's coming into the rest area too, okay. We rest area buddies. Cool. Mabes. The name of his company is Mabes. Mabes will take a break. Maybe, Mabes. No, not funny? Okay, fine, I tried. Well, Diesel, what do you see there? What do you see there? What's there, man? What's there, is there people over there? Man, there's people everywhere. People over there. People over there. A lot of people here. We're in West Virginia. There's the snack bar for the rest area. Washrooms are over there. Picnic areas. It's a very nice rest area. The only dumb thing about this rest area is that they have the truck parking like this. See how it's parallel parking? All the way up around there as well. Around the front of them there. And there, it's just like that behind me too, right? And then over there is the interstate. See? So the truck parking here is ridiculous. Like you could fit so many more trucks in here if you would have just built this rest area proper. But no, they gotta make us parallel park. An 18 wheeler. Really? Even the cars don't have to parallel park. They got proper parking. Look at that over there. See? You just little nose in and you're good to go. That guy there too. Around back there as well. Why do they make the trucks? Like, yeah, we're supposed to be professional drivers, but why make it that much harder on us? I can, I'm, I'm not complaining, I can parallel park like a boss. Oh yeah. Give me a spot, I'll get it in there. Though I totally failed this time. <laughs> Maybe that's why I'm upset about it. Uh, embarrassed myself. A little bit. I like to do one fluid motion, right? That is my goal. Every time I set myself up, I'd be like, all right, I'm going to get in that spot. One fluid motion. Stopping maybe once to check and get out and look if I have to. 
Yeah, I tried backing in here. Oh man, I couldn't get this thing straight for the life of me. Eventually there was a truck in front of me and he just, he ended up leaving, clearing a spot for me. And then I just pulled up behind this guy, yeah. So we're not all perfect. I don't always get it perfect all the time, but the point is next time I'm gonna try again. Always learning, always making yourself better, always up for a challenge. You drive a truck, you gotta know how to park it. Take every opportunity you can to learn how to park it, okay? Because there's gonna come a day when you have to get it into a tight dock and all of that practice parking you did is gonna pay off. And another day's over, Diesel. Time for a shower. Well, time for me to have a shower anyways. You can just sit here and clean yourself. How's that sound? This truck is pretty cluttered right now. I got uh, a lot of uh, drinks. I got Pepsi, water, and green tea. I don't have anywhere to put it, but right here. So for now, it's kind of cluttered, but we made it to Max Meadows, Virginia. A nice flying J here. We're just working on the videos and whatnot right there. And I'm gonna go and take a shower right now, and clean ourselves up. So we're ready for tomorrow. You can uh, look around the screen there. If you minimize the screen, you'll find a subscribe button. If you haven't hit that already, you can hit that. My videos get sent directly to you then. Also go down into the video description. It has all the links to all my social pages there where you can follow me and uh, get to know me a little better. Uh, I will see you tomorrow, right here, 4 a.m. Central Time.